Hello, I want to show you the LK8000 radio interface. So, uh, the most common way is to select an airfield and then we select this airfield and say output frequency and then, then it tells us that it has installed this frequency on our radio. In that case, I use the new driver for the backup radio types. But we also do have a radio dialogue and there we can select an airfield, but we can also search for an airfield. Even if we don't know the correct name, we can simply tap in part of the name. And now we see that it searches even for substrings. Okay, we can turn on the dual frequency uh, with the backer radio, it's called scan. We also can do it the other way around. If we select another frequency, LK searches for the uh, appropriate airfield next to us with this frequency. Um, also very common is that the airspace files the airspace is get the frequencies within the name. We can also use that. So here we have a TMZ with a frequency included. So I can select this. And here we have the new button. And then this frequency is installed. Here we see it again. We can also see the volume in the middle. Unfortunately, the Becker radios only ex uh, does not accept uh, uh, volume setting from the outside, so it's always on the instrument itself. It's different on the other radios. That's special to the Becker. Okay, that's so far for the radio interface.